concert. Yeah, that <laughs> one rendered us very deaf very quickly. It was about, uh, what, two weeks ago now? Roughly that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Two, maybe three. Probably getting close. Yeah. Between two and three weeks yeah, now, two yeah, and three so. weeks. I think, I don't know about you, but my hearing's only just properly recovered. It's back now, I was getting very scared, especially the next day. I was nothing but muffled sound and ringing in my ears and damn, I tell you what, for the guys that have been in that round, around that long and are getting on in age this much, for them to just, I swear, we've seen a lot of bands. These guys are hands down the loudest band going. I don't care who you are and what you've got, I don't think anyone can top them for volume and I reckon they were peaking out the Honestly, the system at Festival Hall. We've seen them support Motley Crue uh, probably oh, 2005. Yeah, a while ago now. Maybe 2006. It was pro- at least five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, we thought that they were probably the loudest band we'd ever seen then. Yeah. After walking out the other night, <laughs> they took their 2006 or 2005 concert to a whole other level. And they blew our eardrums right at the sides <coughs> of their heads, and that was it for us for yeah. however long it took to but, recover. That's all part of the experience, and it was a great night. They oh, played, yeah. They played all the tracks that you want to hear in a Motorhead gig. I mean, Motorhead have got such an extensive back catalogue that you're always going to walk away going, I wish they'd played this, and I wish they'd played there's that. There's always one to there's, miss. There's, there's probably three or four tracks just off the top of my head that I wish they hadn't played, yeah. but I'm still satisfied by the track list that they gave us. That's so. okay. I got the one that I wanted to hear, and that was Rock Out. That was, <laughs> I really wanted to hear that one yeah. live, and that was that was good for me. Yeah, so yeah, the, the newer material from the, the Motorizer album and the, the World Is Yours yeah. album, the last two albums, that was some of the best material they played all yeah. night. I, I love the classic stuff, but the newer stuff was really the, good. They haven't lost a step. No. Not even close. I actually think they haven't lost a step, but they've stepped it up. Yeah. They, they've... They haven't... They've not, they're not taking a backward step to anyone, so... Yeah. It's just if you ever get a chance to go and see Motorhead while they're still going, I reckon you'll go until he dies. But if 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 you get a chance, go there. If you care about your hearing, buy some earplugs before you go. But Definitely if you, recommend if you that. yeah, but if you love loud old school rock and roll, as Lemmy puts it, yeah, just get it there and see. Them. I don't care how much the ticket costs because it's worth every single cent or penny, or whatever currency you're going for. Well worth it, and it amazes me that. But he's still going so hard at 68 years old, or 65, 68, something, something like that. Yeah, he, he's getting on, and, and that's... Jeez, and he's still... It, there's no slowing down on stage. They're all running around like headless chooks yeah. and going spastic, doing their thing. Well, so then he's not overly active on he's stage. Never was, but he's never but has been. He's, no. It's not because he's old and decrepit. It's because that's he's Lemmy, and he doesn't have to do anything. No, you know, pretty he, much. Lemmy he just has to like, stare there, <laughs> stare you in the eyes with his bass guitar rumbling and his growl, and... And you're going to walk away satisfied because that's what Motorhead do. I think Mickey D does enough action for the whole band put together the way he goes around doing things. So yeah. Not that he runs around along the stage, but just his activity on the drum set is just huge. Yeah. Absolutely massive. And just that part when he was throwing the drumsticks in the air and just going bang, bang, bang. Didn't lose a beat. I'm talking there were drumsticks flying everywhere and didn't lose a beat. There, just, there would be drummers in, in more current bands that would struggle to keep up with him. I would like to see anyone try, to be honest. Definitely. And for anyone that wants to know how to play a good leading bass, just check out Motorhead. Yeah. Just follow them his work because he's got to be hands down one of these single greatest rock bass players going around just because of his sheer ability and the sound that he puts out. It's amazing yeah. what he does. Definitely. Yeah. So. <laughs> not, not to name drop ACDC again, but no. Motorhead and ACDC are two of the only bands that have never altered their sound too yeah. drastically. They've stayed with the, the formula for and, the duration of the career. And no one criticises them for that. They, they don't get flack for putting out the same old album because they're, they're never the same no, old but album. but it works for them. That's they the they found it's their brilliant. sound a long, long, long time ago and they yeah. stuck with it, a winning formula, and we all love it. Yeah. So, uh, well, we've and we'll continue it. to love it for years to come, I know this. No, that's <laughs> never going to change. Anything that these those two bands but Motorhead right now put out is just instant love from us it's just amazing we can't get enough of it so we're always hanging for the next release yeah for sure (laughs) and uh, speaking of other releases well we've uh, watched that previously aforementioned uh, DVD the Lemmy DVD yeah it's bizarre it's yeah it's a great great movie if you've ever been a fan of Lemmy it gives you a real insight into 
a completely different side of him that you never would expect. It's um, just an, an actual look at the man. It's yeah. not. It's not. He's not a person that comes across through the DVD as being all about the money, all about the show, all about the fame and stuff. He he does the same things over and over again. He tries to be as regular a person as he can. He lives in a rent controlled flat. Yeah, he's so, a rent controlled flat that is just uh, littered with magazines and memorabilia and, yeah. and stuff. It's it's like walking into a Motorhead fans place, really, or something. You know? Yeah, it, it, it's it, it's he's, bizarre. Doesn't live by any sort of rock star cliches. No, it's not actually. I'd, I'd never expect. Lemmy to live in the mansion with the Rolls Royce. No, and he's not that, that sort of, of guy. But, um, but I didn't expect him to to be who he is. He's just yeah. a, a regular bloke. He's seriously one of those people you can picture who just got out there, did his thing, had some success, and it never, ever, ever for a second went to his head. Not for a moment. Yeah. I reckon it just was just huge. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how he's managed to meet the people he's met, do all the things he's done. Especially the history you go through with this guy on, on the DVD, yeah. but just all the stuff he's been through and his experiences and, and all the thing, and, and just stay the same person and he's, keep the same point of view. He's still managed to have a fifth, nearly fifty year career with yeah. between Hawkwind and Motorhead. He's still and a roadie for Jimi Hendrix. Before yeah, that. which is amazing. He's pretty much spent his whole life in the music industry in one way or another. Yeah. And, and if you want a guy that speaks his mind. He's it for sure. He doesn't care. He'll just say whatever he thinks, and, and we both love and respect that basic fact. Definitely. But that's the DVD right there. Yep. Grab yourself a copy of it, and uh, it's well worth a look. Even if you're not a Motorhead fan, just get in there and check this thing out because this is about as grounded a rock star as you're ever going to see. And this guy just does what he does, and he knows what he wants, and he just enjoys himself. Yep however he sees fit so I like, I like these documentaries these days uh, I recently watched Rush Beyond the Lighted Stage yep. Yep. and I've always been a fan of Rush but that yep. DVD just cemented the fact that Rush are awesome yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> and I've watched a lot of DVDs lately that are more documentary based I yeah. think Some Kind of Monster sort of started the trend for yeah. it yeah. letting you in on their private life a little bit more Yeah. and I think some people don't like that but I actually enjoy seeing yeah. a different side of the the uh, rock stars and, and well, getting to see musicians the, that I've, I've watched for so many yeah. years. And seeing the person behind all the, the pomp and ceremony and, and the stage show and all that stuff is, is really, really interesting and you get to really get a look at these people. Yeah. And it's just eye-opening in so many ways. So, yeah, do check this one in particular out because it's just awesome. Yeah, it is. But, yeah, I guess... We've come to. Well, I actually no. I just wanted to say yeah, at, at the moment that um, the Foo Fighters are actually streaming uh, their new album yes. uh, "Wasting Light" on their website. Um, it's due for release on the twelfth of April, but if you get a chance, stream it up from the website and yeah. have a listen because it's really worth a listen. It's probably one of the best albums they've yeah. done in probably since um, "The Color and the Shape," in my opinion, which was their second album. So yeah. it's probably close to ten years ago. I reckon more than ten years ago. It's up there. It's, it's definitely up there. It's, fantastic it's a really album. good listen. So there's nothing wrong with that album at all. And um, it's probably and from Burning Bridges, the opening track, yeah. right to the end. It's probably one of the most rocking albums that they've done as well. So and what I love about the fact is they leaked it themselves. Yeah. So you've got to give them credit for doing something That's like that. It's, it's just amazing that they in just this, got in this day and age when most artists complain about their music getting yeah. stolen. These guys went and did Leave it themselves. Leave it to the Fighters so, to yeah. stream it and, and steal their own music, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, not many bands go down that yeah. path, and I love it whenever they do. So yeah. it's always really, really good to see a band do that. Yeah. But that's awesome. So yeah, it's, it's even better when it's a great album, too. Yeah, well, that makes it even more... <laughs> yeah. It's not some hack doing whatever. This yeah. is an established act that do really good things. We saw them live a while ago now. I've seen them live a couple of times. I've only seen the ones, but yeah. At uh, a couple of different big day outs and yeah. stuff like that. Now. They're always a good show. They are. So Dave, Dave Grohl's a really He's a good front man. He's a show man. Yeah, yeah. He, he, does, he does what he does and he does it well, so <coughs> that's good. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, check that out. And yeah. um, until next time... Well, before that, check out Lemmy, any motorhead gig you can get to, and last but certainly not least, and probably most importantly for this episode, Trucker Diablo, Devil Rhythm. Well, well, well worth it. Go and get it, listen to it, rave about it, spread the word about these guys. If you can get them out of Northern Ireland and, and go to a tour wherever you are, just 
do anything you can to get that to happen because these guys will be well worth it to see. I can't wait to see them live. I don't, no. I don't know when, when that's going to happen, but I can't wait. Oh, yeah. They'll have to get down here. We're going to make sure that happens so, <laughs> as best as we can anyway. So, yeah. But that'll be... Yeah, I'm hanging for that. Yeah. That'll be cool. So I hope, I hope you uh, enjoyed this instalment of The Rock Show. The real first instalment <laughs> of The Rock Show, which is always good. Um, until next time, drink up. Rock on.